kind of interject there too, and I think uh, sometimes kind of clarifying the language is important because I didn't know any of this stuff before this battle found me. But I think a lot of us, when we use the word gender, a lot of us have used it as a synonym for biological sex. We would use them like the gender reveal for, for babies, right? Um, but like was already described, there's a separation now. And what the movement is trying to do is to say that biological sex doesn't matter in a legal sense, and that gender does. That's what's important, gender expression, gender identity. And what that looks like for women, uh, the way this is playing out, like let's, let's take Title IX for instance. Okay, so I paid for my college education with a basketball scholarship. There was recently a six foot seven male who identifies as woman, um, who took a woman's basketball spot on a woman's basketball team. It's happening in weightlifting. There's currently a volleyball player who's trying to get on the women's Olympic team. This, um, and so when gender identity wins, I believe that women always lose. You're not gonna see a female, regardless if she identifies as trans or not, on the NBA, on, in the NFL, you're not gonna, women are gonna, it's a power dynamic and women are on the losing end of that. Um, and so when we're talking about compassion, I, I, I think that we really need to, to look down the pike a little bit more, because I think there's this, this, we wanna be loving to everybody, um, but it's not loving to embrace something that's gonna cause a lot of harm.